try out a John Deere utility tractor today. Sunny 101.9, 831 is the time, 25 degrees, southeast winds at 5 to 15, and we have uh, Mr. Keith Knutson in studio this morning. Good morning, bud. How you doing? Good morning. Great to be here. It, well, it's great to be anywhere, right? It is. In this day and age, it's yes. great to be anywhere. And I don't know what your plans are for this weekend, but mine is to go home on Friday afternoon and not return again until Monday morning. Right. I'm not going anywhere this weekend. I'm going to go hide in my shop all, all work weekend. Doesn't that work. sound like a great plan? Yes. Yep. Just keep it nice and toasty. Toasty. And just nothing. <laughs> right. You know, I'm going to stock up on snacks Friday and now I'm done. So. Oh, yeah. Well, Super Bowl weekend, too, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. You're darn right it is. Right. Hey, real quick, who are you thinking? Oh, I don't know. I kind of got to go with Brady. Oh, really? Yes, I know. Oh, I'm you sorry. should probably go. <laughs> no, I, I got to go with I got to go with Mahomes. I'm a Packers I, fan, so okay. I, I I'm not really partial to either, but okay, yeah, I, I'm partial to anybody who's playing Brady. <laughs> right. I, I, so I'm rooting for the Chiefs. That's how it is. Um, so let, let's talk about uh, the college right now. Um, February is uh, CTE Awareness Month. What? What is, what is that, and how does it entail what's going on at DCB this month? Right. So CTE stands for Career and Tech Education. Okay. And um, it's education that directly prepares students for high-wage, high-demand careers. Okay. CTE at Dakota College provides students with an opportunity to develop, you know, like industry-specific skills as they prepare to enter the workforce. Okay. So. All right. Very cool. Now, what type of CTP... A CTE programs do they offer at DCB? Oh yeah, we you know Dakota College is really uh, really big into CTE programs and okay. just some examples. Well, first of all, uh, with a CTE program, you can either get a, a associates an AAS degree, or oh. you can get a certificate. So an AAS degree is is where you go through, and it's usually a two year program and you get your gen eds with that you know general mm -hmm. education you, that gives you an opportunity to go to a four-year college or to go out into the workforce and then uh, we also have uh, certificate programs and that really just zeroes right in on whatever area this the ct area that you're going into and that's typically where you just take those courses uh like for instance in in horticulture you would just take greenhouse or um, horticultural type courses so there's two opportunities there. you can go either way okay but some of the CT programs we have at Dakota College of course the health care is a big one the nursing oh, sure is huge up here mm -hmm. and, uh, and we a have, great program too. it is absolutely outstanding it's, it's, program yep um, information technology in our horticulture department we have the greenhouse technology we have floral design and we have specialty crop okay in uh, recreation management, of course, we have like urban forestry and wildlife fisheries and technology and photography. That's big too. Yeah. Yes, it is. Photography is, is getting bigger That's and bigger. That's awesome. Good. And um, there's one thing I want to mention here that ties with photog photography well, relatively well, and that's um, in our agriculture management technology program, we have the UAS program. Okay. And that's unmanned aerial systems or the drones. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, so photography in that area, too, has gotten to be really big, you know, oh, where, sure. where uh, realtors are using drones, where uh, other businesses are flying over and and taking pictures yeah. and that type of thing. Well, that so. makes perfect sense. Yeah, that's, sure that, that's cool. That's yeah. cool. Now, I know that you've been out here several times. You've talked about the the hydroponics, the the, the aquaponics, things like that. But you've also been big into like the uh, the hemp and the cannabis programs. How are those two programs doing? They're doing the hemp program. Okay. Well, first of all, um, the aquaponics program has been here, I think, for four years now. Yeah. 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 And that is doing really well. Awesome. So we've got uh, some students that are really into it we normally don't have a lot of north dakota students here but we have students from um up california in fact i have one student from india that just graduated oh very so, cool. yeah very so, cool and so usually uh out east uh we have students come from that area because aquaponics is a little bit bigger and in more of the high population states okay so, yeah. all right okay so and then the hemp program we started that a year ago um this this semester we have three actually have three classes going on and one is a production class and that is a really intensive class where we start from seed and we go through the whole production or growth of the plant and then uh we're now we're now purchasing equipment i'll talk a little bit about that too 
for processing of, of the hemp seed or the hemp flower too. So that is really grown. Um, then we also have a, a class in hemp rules and regulations because it's really a highly regulated uh, crop. Mm-hmm. And so then we need to have a really good understanding with individuals and producers on those rules and regulations so that they can learn to follow fall within those guidelines that are set up. And then we have one other class. It's a co-op education class. And in that okay. co-op education class, uh, we the students do just hands-on work. In fact, they work with some hemp processing uh, facilities and companies and then also work on the production end of it. So um, so the processing has gotten to be a kind of a big deal, too, for us. So, so okay, so when you say processing, what... I, I'm I'm uneducated in all this stuff. Sure. Uh, I, I'm assuming you still get three four calls a day from Willie Nelson about all this stuff. Oh from yes. Woody Harrelson, <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yes. No. And so it's not that part of the world. Oh. That okay. Not, right, okay. So, so when you talk about processing, what does that <laughs> okay. mean, Keith? So just so we understand, um, you know, we have it broken down in in this country. It's it's all cannabis. So cannabis, cannabis is broken down into either the hemp world or the marijuana world. Okay. And so when we talk marijuana, we talk about a cannabinoid called THC. And, and when we're talking about uh, the hemp world, we're talking about some of the cannabinoids, still cannabinoids, but like the CBD. CBD is probably a lot of people have heard about. Okay, yes, yes, yeah. I have heard of that. Yeah, yes. so okay. um, so we're, we're mainly in the CBD world. And uh, some of the processes that we're looking at... In, and in fact, um, I'll just go through them. So, for instance, the flour, we extract the cannabinoids out of it. And so we're looking at how those processes work, and we're trying to bring those processes forward to our students. So, mm-hmm. And then, of course, just one other one quickly, uh, seed. Seed, we, we crush the seed, and we squeeze the oil out of the seed. And, and so hemp oil has kind of uh, gotten to be a popular thing. It's main, mainly used, like, in salads and that type of thing. And then, of course, it can be used in paints and as fuels and mm-hmm. that type of thing. Mm-hmm. So. Okay, all right. And it's, uh, I also understand, little birdie told me, that you also got a, a, a pretty good uh, hefty USDA grant for this program, We too. did. That was kind of a surprise. A year and a half ago, we applied for a, a, a grant, and I applied for it for hemp. And um, we got a response back from them that said, it's so we don't really want to touch. USDA said we really don't want to go into the, the hemp end of it yet because it's a lot of iffies in it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then last spring... I get a message back and it says, let's try it. So, wow. uh, so US, USDA uh, gave Dakota College a $500,000 grant. Wow. I know, it's huge. And that is, yeah, that's great. Yeah, so we, we gave us money to develop the program and then also uh, buy a lot of equipment. And some of that mm-hmm. equipment is mm-hmm. for processing of hemp materials so that we can extract the CBD. And so... We're going. We're in the process right now of buying that that equipment, but um, that's really a good deal. And and you that's know that's great. Yeah. And I and I should say one other thing too. Minus State University, we're working with them because they've got the medicinal program, plant program there, and so we're working with them because it just falls right in line with what Minus State University is doing. Very here. cool. Very cool. I'm gonna guess you also invested in a uh, caller ID program so you can weed out the calls from <laughs> Willie Nelson. <laughs> Pun definitely intended. <laughs> All right. No. Uh, so that that's great. Uh, Five hundred thousand dollars. I mean that that ha- that has to go a long way in helping to develop it does. and and help your program. It does. It's a three year three year project. So wow. it's great. That is great. How do we if we have information we want to get from you about any of this stuff? Any questions they want to answer to learn more? How do they do this? So I think uh, the best way is either call up to Dakota College. My number, of course, nobody remembers these things. Seven zero one two two eight five four eight nine. I Keith hope they wrote Knudsen. it down. Yes, seven zero one. Do like some of the advertisements do and, and say it three times. There you go. But uh, we, you can also go to Dakota College website too, and then mm-hmm. uh, search for hemp, and it'll bring up the the hemp page too. Okay, so. all right. Uh, that that's great. A lot of information that we got out this morning. So uh, appreciate your time this morning, and we'd love to have you back out again soon. All right. Thank you. Thank you very Sounds much, good. buddy. Appreciate it, and uh, and happy CTE month. Okay.
All right. Sounds good. Right. Thank you very much, buddy. All right. Keith Knutson from, from the college. 25 degrees southeast winds at 5 to 15. The clouds 841. We're back with sports and more here shortly on Sunday 101.9. The 46th annual production sale for Fry Angus is Sunday, February 7th at 1 o'clock. Selling 125 yearling Angus bulls and 35 Angus females. 35 Angus.